Alright, this video is on uh, Daystate MK3. Uh, this particular gun has a leak, air leak. So we're going to reseal it. And the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to take out the circuit board. And uh, you need to take a photo, you know, iPhone or whatever, it's just, or write down a piece of paper or schematic how this wiring diagram attached to the board and uh, I, I took a picture of it but anyway if you take it out it's kind of arranged in a way the wires are stiff so you know where they're going when you take it out but as a backup take a picture of it so you know a quicker way to reassemble it back uh, first thing you need to do is disconnect the battery there's a the battery it's just velcroed in there and it has a little two prong in there you kind of slide out the lock and pull it out all right the rest let me zoom in here and then disconnect the wires There you go. And let's zoom back out. Then I'll show you. We're going to disconnect the board from the trigger assembly. Flip it over. There's only three flathead screws that hold this board to the gun or the action assembly. There's a flathead screwdriver here. Here. I mean, screw, a screw head. Uh, when you work with a board or any kind of computer, it's good to use. Well, you need to use a non-magnetic screwdriver, and make sure your static buildup in your body has been discharged before you fondle with the the board. And it kind of just wiggle it out. There's your board. Keep it this separate, uh, nice keeping place. All right. Then you remove the whole trigger assembly, and there's only one screw holding it right there. What I did was before I did this, uh, I shut the pressure down to uh, low. And there's, there's still pressure in there. So the next video is how to uh, depressurize the air tube. All right? And I'll show you later how to disconnect the, the hammer assembly and the solenoid. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, here's a solenoid assembly. You just gotta be careful with that, I would think. This is the first time I'm disassembling this. Well, I did on several guns. Yeah, they had the same air tube assembly without the solenoid. Okay. Uh, this thickness part is in the next video. We'll catch you then.